And for the first time ever, the European Le Mans series is about to get rolling for round three of the 2023 season here at Aragon. What's the start going to be like for Phil Hansen on the right of your shot? Got the car stopped nicely, did the Brit, and ahead of Nico Pino in the green and black Duquesne team car, which it's the number 30 feeding into the sequence. Then it is Rui Andrade for inter-Europe on competition. So it's as they qualify with Vlad Lomko now under pressure in the 47, though, from Manuel Maldonado in the number 65 Panis racing car. So those top eight... Uh, LMP2s, well, seven really. We remember James Allen starting at the very rear of the field and having to work his way through. James had to start that car as the fastest driver within it this weekend. Yep, uh, looking racy, Malbone won the Nardum in the early corners of that lap. Keep an eye too on from the back of the grid. The number 25 car of James Allen has already made several overtakes in the GTE field. We'll make rapid progress, but he's got to be careful. Sure footed, there he comes into the picture. Ready ahead of the 72, Aston Martin. And they come for the first time through this, through and into this bus stop section. Yeah, so already reached the middle portion of the second sector, about to burst their way into the relatively short uh, third sector, which is a, a straight that's about 1.1 kilometres. So a real chance to get the toe on the car in front and then dive either up the inside or we have seen overtakes around the outside at turn 16 through the course of the weekend already. These leading LMP2 cars will do around about 40 minutes on fuel. There's contact, is there? Or a bit of bodywork that gets loose? I think it was the inspection hatch on the P3 Threes. cars. I think it's the Euro International car. I think that may be the leading car of Adam uh, Ali. We'll keep an eye on that one. OK, well, it suddenly just popped out from its position, as a, either as a result of some contact earlier on in the lap, or it's just the air oh, getting underneath it. Oh. That was the 57 of Takeshi Kimura on Michael Fassbender, but Fassbender almost anticipated that contact and was able to keep the car just about straight, leaving turn 16 for the first time. Martin Berry retains the lead after lap one in GTE. Uh, James Allen already on lap two in amongst the LMP3 